one. Screen source <laughs> coming at you with the official trailer reaction to the movie Richard Jewell. Based off of? It's based off of the security guard who uh, was busy saving people's lives uh, back at the Olympic Auditor no, the Olympic Park in 1996 during the Atlanta Games who was unfairly painted as the bomber. He was exonerated. Mm. His life was still ruined. This poor bastard. His name was Richard Jewell. His name was Richard Jewell. <laughs> Let's see that trailer. Let's get a new tape going. All right, Richard, here's what we're going to do. We need a voice exemplar. I want you to say into this phone, there's a bomb in Centennial Park. You have 30 minutes. Richard, you're a national hero now. Thank you, sir. But I was just doing my job. You always look at the guy who found the bomb just like you always look at the guy who found the body. Jewel fits the profile of the lone bomber. A frustrated white man who is a police wannabe who seeks to become a hero. We're running it. You're a suspect. You don't talk. I talk. Say it. I don't talk. This might be the only way to clear your name. I want you to say there's a bomb in Centennial Park. You have 30 minutes. Stop trying to be their best friend. I was raised to respect authority. Authority's looking to eat you alive. There's a bomb in Centennial Park. You have 30 minutes. I'm sorry, what? His accusers are two of the most powerful forces in the world. The United States government and the media. I do want to help y'all on law enforcement, too. There is a bomb in Centennial Park. You have 30 minutes. Did he do it? Richard Jewell is an innocent man. He's a hero. There is a bomb in Centennial Park. You have 30 minutes. One more time, just a little louder. I report the facts. You've ruined this man's life. There is a bomb in Centennial Park. You have 30 minutes. Do a couple in a row. My son saved people's lives. There is a bomb in Centennial Park. You have 30 minutes. You set that bomb. There is a bomb in Centennial Park. You have 30 minutes. I don't know how to protect you. I think your client is guilty as hell. They want to fry you. You ready to start fighting back? December. So, um, now, I I remember this guy. Okay. And the thing that makes me kind of sad is with with this movie, I don't know if this was the intent or not, but they they made, like with the actor, they made him even fatter oh, than did the guy they? was in real life and made him kind of look like a simpleton. Okay. Where it was like, it felt like Richard Jewell was just in complete shock over what was happening. Because uh -huh. dude was trying, well, because it's like, if you're, if you're not some, like, if you're somebody who's just trying to help out, you know, mm -hmm. and, and you're, you're kind of portrayed as being a dumbass who might also be a terrorist, mm -hmm. like, how the hell do you make it through life like that? And I mean, obviously, we'll watch this to kind of see what happened. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. yeah. I, I would certainly be one of those people because I was really young when this happened. Yeah, I, I was, I was young-ish as well when, when this happened. And yeah, it is, it is very weird to see, dude. Like, <laughs> it, it looks like I, I will be completely honest here. It, they're making him look like a fat idiot, like who was a dupe. You right, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, yeah, they're not holding back on that. I'm wondering what he was like in the media at that time, if yeah. this is going to be a good portrayal of that. Well, he, um, his name is uh, uh, Hauser. What's yeah. it? Uh, Paul Walter Hauser. He also was uh, Sean Eckhart in I, Tonya, who's oh, okay. also a real person. Yep. So this guy likes doing these like biographies. Especially like, yeah, <laughs> within two years of one another. Yeah, and I, Tonya, uh Did that uh, come out two years ago? I think it was two years ago. Yeah, I don't think it was last year. It was so huh. good, though. So good. Yeah, yeah. Um, I I am so interested in this film. I'm really excited that uh, all these actors are in it that I love. Sam yep. Rockwell's turning into one of my favorites. Yep. John Hamm, Olivia oh, yeah. Wilde. This is such a good cast. And uh, yeah, and I've 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 been more interested in uh, Olivia Wilde's directing efforts lately. Yeah, she's she, been doing that. Huh? She really has. Did but she do the Did she do the young the young boys movie? Good Good Boys. 
Uh, I believe that was the one. Yeah. Okay. But uh, but yeah, so it's it's cool to see her acting again. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, Directed but- by Clint, e- Clint Eastwood, uh, produced by Leonardo DiCaprio, Jonah Hill. Wow, uh, Clint Eastwood, amongst others. Yeah, it's got a lot of names attached. Yeah, to it's it's got a lot, and this definitely seems like an interesting one. Hopefully, I got the wrong impression from the trailer because this <laughs> poor dude right. got yeah no he got fucking dragged just dragged to death and they treated him like such a piece of shit and his entire life was as they even say in there it was just like you've ruined this man's yeah, life yeah yeah Sam and Rockwell we- saying that to to Olivia Wilde's character, yeah. I think, yeah, because it's it's just one of those it's one of those press things. They never, you know, they they never retract as loudly as they decry, right. you know. Right, right. Uh, I really liked what Sam Rockwell said. Um, I think it was Sam Rockwell's character that he was saying something like, "He's going up against the two most difficult things to go up against, which is." The U.S. government and the media, yeah, or something like that, which is which is terrifying. Can yeah, you imagine. Oh, very yeah. much so. No, it, it's just like yeah, this this poor dude. It was just like it just shows where you know wrong place, wrong time. Even if you're trying to do the right thing, your entire life could get turned upside down. Sure, sure. And uh, yeah, it's it's interesting. And I remember vividly the the story of this poor dude. And I'm very interested in seeing the movie of his life. Yeah, yeah. This might this might be of the trailers we watched today. This is the one that I'm really looking forward to. Very much so. Yeah. And this is a December release, I think it said. And this one, I have a feeling, uh, is going to be a big contender for the Oscars. You know, I like I like the feeling. Yeah, yeah. Um, and during Oscar season, so that makes sense. Uh, Richard Jewell, let us know if you're excited for it, or if you're not, uh, and all of the reasons that go with that. Uh, I'm certainly stoked. Seems like my buddy's stoked here, too. Oh, yeah. And uh, check out all the rest of our reviews tonight, our trailer reactions, and we have a review. Oh, yes, indeed. Now, uh, Richard Jewell may not have been a criminal mastermind. But? (laughs) But we just saw a movie about a criminal mastermind. Uh We just got out of the theater after watching Joker, and we got some shit to say. Yeah, so stick around for that. Hit that subscribe button, and uh, check us out next time on Screen Source. We'll see you later.